Um, and then like how you would describe your job to someone who maybe doesn't know what it is or you know how you would tell a stranger like what you do. So my name is Betsy Witt. I'm the operations manager at the Berman Museum of Art. Um, basically that means I am in charge of a lot of the things that go on in the building. Um, the student workers that the college employs um, so I'm in charge of them. They're here almost every day. Um, I'm in charge of the website, the social media, um, all the administrative tasks, billing, all that really boring stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, basically all the other things kind of in between um, that a curator doesn't do, that a director doesn't do, collections manager help out with all of those things as needed. Yeah, so basically you run the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, yes. <laughs> um, so how did you, like, how did you get started doing this kind of work? Like, how did you become involved with museum work? Um, what made you interested in working at the Berman? I graduated from Penn State with a degree in anthropology and classics. And I had those degrees because I wanted to be a classical archaeologist. Um, and so I went to grad school. And where I went to grad school at University of Virginia, the archaeology department falls under the art history department. Um, so I was getting my degree in art history at that point. Um, and I was working as a student, as a graduate student, at the museum at the University of Virginia, which I think is now called the Frelinger Museum. Um, so that was the first time I ever actually worked in a museum. I was helping the collections manager there. Um, I did a variety of things with her. I got to go into the vaults and you know, photograph collections. A lot of it was um, updating things in their collections management database. Um, but sometimes it was just attending events and helping out. And that was a good insight to kind of the back end of a museum. It wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do at that point. Um, but I realized I didn't actually want to pursue a PhD, which was required uh, if I wanted to be an archeologist. So at that point I finished my master's degree. I said, okay, I want to get a job. Um, one of the jobs that was available at that point was at a uh, software company that makes collections database management software for museums. Um, since I had some museum experience at that point, um, I took the job partially because it was closer to home. Mm -hmm. um, but it also paid, <laughs> it had, you know, <laughs> benefits, all that kind of stuff. I could afford to have my own apartment and that kind of thing. Um, when you have an art history degree, even a master's doesn't really necessarily get you very far. Yeah. Um, so that was a good stable job working for a software company. Um, and I did work with museum clients every day. That's, um, I basically did technical support and um, data conversions for them for past perfect software for about 13 years. Um, so I worked with a lot of different museums and I, I learned a lot kind of from the outside of looking at museums and I learned a lot about their collections and uh, collections management and also a lot about Visual Fox Pro <laughs> programming language that I really never wanted to learn anything about but <laughs> was required for my job. So um, it really wasn't what I wanted to do long term. Um, but I knew I had a lot of good museum experience that I could draw on. Um, and then I saw the, the Berman Museum had an opening for an administrative assistant. And I said, well, I could probably do that. And it's in a museum and it's really close to home and it's really pretty and I really like to work there. So I got the job, I was super excited. Um, and I'm still really excited to be here. It's been <laughs> about four years, I think. Has it been that long? Wow. 2016 is when yeah. I started. So five this will be almost five. five years. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I started off as the administrative assistant, and that position has grown into the operations manager position uh, because I do more than just kind of the administrative stuff at this point. Um, taking on a larger role, which I'm really excited about. Um, so pre-pandemic, my job was to get here, talk to the student workers a little bit, um, usually have meetings in the mornings with all the staff. 
a lot of my day-to-day -day time was spent making sure the student workers were here <laughs> and <laughs> sitting at the desk um, doing what they need to do. Um, I also worked with some of the student workers. Um, they helped me with the social media, so I would meet with them um, at least once a week to go over what they were going to be doing. Um, answering emails, working on event planning. Uh, the Berman hosts a lot of events, or did, for the campus. <laughs> so it seemed like there was always something going on in the building um, every couple of weeks at least. Um, so meeting with, you know, on campus, different departments, setting up events, making sure everything's ready. If there's something going on that day, making sure the space is ready, making sure nobody's freaking out about anything, <laughs> everything's covered. Yeah, it's very much multitasking of, you know, meeting with people, talking to people, jumping back and forth. Um, now, mostly working from home. Um, I come in about once a week. Um, I'm the person who lives the closest to the museum on staff, so I'm the one who has to check the mail and, you know, if there's anything going on with the building, I'll be the one who stops in. Um, but I try to come in and spend at least one full day in here a week. Um, I don't spend nearly as much time talking to the students. Partially, I think there might be a little bit of a you know, it's COVID, let's, let's keep some space between all of us. Mm -hmm. um, and I really don't like that part. I like getting to talk to the students, getting to know them. We've had a lot of uh, new students working and I, I really don't get to spend much time hearing about them and who they are and why they work here, why they wanna work here, do they like the arts, are they interested in that kind of thing? Because um, when they are interested in museum, careers, I really do like to talk to them and try to give them extra things to do and get more of a feel of, of museum careers and that kind of thing. So when I come in now, it's usually just me in the office, maybe somebody else. Um, so it's very quiet, which is helpful if I want to get work done, but it's also just kind of quiet and <laughs> lonely. Um, there are classes going on in the museum right now, so I feel like I have to Kind of a different feeling when I walk around in the building I have to be careful that I don't interrupt a class or something like that whereas before it was like oh are there visitors here I can go downstairs I can walk around maybe I'll talk to somebody um, so it's definitely a different feeling in the museum right now a lot of the work I do now focuses more on our online our website our virtual presence um, because that's the only way we can interact interact with most of the world, except for the students have classes in here since we're not open to the public. Mm -hmm. um, I spent a lot of time with our online, our virtual exhibition software, which we haven't actually gotten to debut to the public yet, but I'm really excited about that part when we do get to show it off. Days are a lot slower, I think. I'm not like in this rush of running around, of talking to people, and it's just a lot more, more quiet, even when I am at home. Um, sharing the office with my husband and <laughs> leads to some challenges sometimes because we both might be on a phone call at the same time or yeah. somebody has their headphones in and can't tell if you're talking to me or who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what do you see as the most challenging part of your job? I would say working with students. Yeah. <laughs> they, I like that part of this job a lot. It keeps it interesting, it keeps it fresh. There's new people, there's new students coming in all the time, new student workers. Um, so, you know, it can be a good thing if there's students who are kind of, eh, not your favorite in four years, they're gonna <laughs> leave. <laughs> As opposed to a coworker, you know, you might not yeah. like, and yeah. there they are for. 20 years or whatever. Yep. Um, but they're also college students and they're also learning a lot and have a lot to learn and a different maturity levels and different level of experience. And it's not the same as working with uh, professionals and trying to keep a museum going, relying very heavily on student workers to be here, to be here on time, to do what you want them to do, to do it the right
right way um, was challenging and that there are a, a number of them, at least seven or eight right now, and that's probably the smallest group that we've had in a while. Sometimes it's closer to 20. Mm -hmm. um, so just keeping, keeping track of everybody. Yeah. Is that also your favorite part? It could be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the most frustrating and, and one of the best parts, getting to know students and yeah. um, getting to see them learning about museums, especially when they're interested in it as a career and being able to kind of guide them to some degree. It's been a little frustrating with the ones who've recently graduated. There's almost no job prospects yeah. out there. That's really rough. But I like that and I like being surrounded by art. I like it that my office is a museum. I like being able to just walk around and see new things on the walls, even things that I walk past a lot of times. I'll still get to see something mm -hmm. interesting all the time. I think the events that we've done, especially like the, the community events, the moon party that we had, um, the fall fest, when we bring in the community, when we bring in kids, um, I really like that part. Um, it's a lot of work, it's really stressful. <laughs> but I think it also brings the staff together and we get to have a really good time. And I think that's kind of, those are my favorite memories of just getting to have fun with the staff and kind of doing things that are outside of our normal desk job kind of things, going outside, throwing yeah. water balloons at each other <laughs> yeah. and smashing pumpkins on the, on the wall behind the museum, that kind of stuff. I would say that people should know that museums are not scary, especially contemporary art museums. I don't know anything about contemporary art. I have a degree in art history and my focus is on Greek and Roman, ancient Greek and Roman art, so, <laughs> and archaeology. Um, I don't know anything about modern and contemporary art, um, but just coming in here and being able to look around, I think you have to kind of open yourself a little bit and not be too worried about, you know, I'm not going to understand it, I'm not going to like it, I'm going to be judged, like just go. Just go and just look. That's that's really what it's about, um, and just figuring out what what you see. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, thank you so much, Betsy. You're welcome. Um, can I give it the 